We've got another email question lined up for us, Philip. Let's take a look at it. Uh, the adjuster on my case says he wants me to give a recorded statement. See, turning off the phone there. A recorded statement about what happened. Should I give one? Do I need a lawyer? Omari is asking that question. Philip, what do you do? Uh, we don't know what type of case this is. We're presuming it's an automobile accident case and an adjuster is asking for a recorded statement. What, you know, what kind of advice you got for Amari? Well, my first advice would be first call a lawyer and talk to a lawyer about it. Uh, the reason being is uh, depending on which adjuster and who is actually asking you to take a recorded statement, uh, that does matter. Uh, you might be required to if it's your insurance company under a particular auto case, but you might not be. But either way, even if you are supposed to give a recorded statement, you should have a lawyer in advance of that so that they can advise you of what to expect and be, that, be there with you for them. You know, Philip, through the years, uh, when we even give that statement or the statement is given, you know, there's a lot of cordialness and a lot of shortcuts that are, that are used, but sometimes they can be used when a, when a client's trying to be nice. Uh, you know, in the South in particular, I know you're up north, you know, from up north originally, but in the South in particular, it's kind of impolite sometimes to talk with people, especially when you've, um, you know, it's kind of the first time they call you up and say, hey, how are you doing? What's the response that most people give? Oh, I'm fine. I'm okay today. And then we see insurance adjusters later on down the, the road say, well, you said you were fine. You said you were okay. And really take that out of context, especially in the South, people are doing that more out of uh, politeness and cordial, cordialness. They don't really talk about the aches and pains, and sometimes they think the aches and pains are just simply going to go away. Uh, that shoulder will get better, that hip will get better, that back will get better. But those two words are really the most dangerous words that somebody can have in giving a recorded statement. I'm fine. And I'll tell you, uh, on more than one occasion, uh, people being polite, people being nice have had that used against them. So uh, yes, Omari, I think it would be best for you to speak with an attorney in advance. You don't have to hire the attorney, but speak with the attorney in advance, at least get some ideas about what's really going on, the questions behind the questions on that recorded statement that the insurance company is going to have. Insurance companies train their adjusters. They train them in the skill of uh, interrogation, if you will, and in interviews. And so you need to have somebody on your side as well so that you understand what's going on. I mean, Philip, I've got a few gray hairs on me, um, just and, uh, and starting to spread a little bit in certain places I don't need to be spreading. Uh, I've conducted over 10,000 interviews and depositions in my time, and, and certainly, you know, you in 10 years have done quite a few yourself, probably into the low thousands. Uh, get some of that experience behind you, Omari, before you, you make that decision to talk with your insurance adjuster about that.